Shungite, the light in the dark. Peace, beloved ones, blessings and peace. I come forward to you from the world of light. The what is light? When I say Shungite, one of the blackest crystals you could possibly pick up. And the caverns of Shungite, deep, dark places within the earth. But then I say the light in the dark. What light is that? What are the worlds of light? And what is the special light of Shungite that is so needed at this time in your world? So needed is the courage to go into the dark, to realize the beauty of the dark. You know, I talk sometimes about dark powers. Well, yes, there is a use and in a way a misuse of the word dark there because darkness can be very beautiful and there is a light that shines in the depths of the soul that is very like to the light that Shungite brings in the depths of the earth. And really what it is, is I'm using a language when I say the powers of darkness that has been appropriated, that really is not fully accurate because the powers that are in the dark when it comes here to Shungite are the most benign powers you could imagine. They are allies, you see. The Shungite being who is a Manshungin and a Manshungina, this being, this is a, a really a multidimensional being. These are the aspects that are masculine and feminine, but the light, that is an oversoul light that is coming into the, what we could call the secret places, the hidden places, the places in you that are really hard to own or even to find to own. You see? And yes, because they are in that sense hidden. They're in the dark. And often you're afraid of the dark. It's a whole kind of language of the soul. Oh, it's so dark in there. But really the soul, the dark, deep soul is the most wonderful, rich resource for you. Which is why I've also talked a lot about fear in our dialogue together. I'll hear more of a monologue, but I talk a lot to people in dialogue about what is fear for. And so here we've got a a beautiful energy, a being uh, who works through the crystal uh, Shungite and who comes in to give you power in those secret hidden places that are hard to access, who befriends you, who holds your hand and becomes your protector and your guide and takes you down. But you feel so safe and he's so warm and he's humorous and he's not afraid of the dark, clearly, because he is the very soul of that Shungite presence. And within you, the truth is you're not afraid of the dark. You've just forgotten it. You've forgotten the beauty and the depths of that light that is deep within you. That is indeed your soul's light. And that is deep within the earth. As above, so below. As within, so without. So you are earthly beings. And in the cavernous depths of the darkness within you is incredible light. Is wonderful healing power. And Shungite helps you to access that power of healing and is very relevant to this time where, in fact, exactly language has been manipulated for you to feel that darkness is dangerous and for you not to want to go into the secret hidden places and reclaim your power. Because have you ever heard of a false light? And have you never felt yourself led on by a light that is a kind of vanity, that is a sort of egoic, overbright, over sparkling, over just over, over the top light? And actually you don't trust it. 
you don't trust all that sparkle and all that pizzazz because you feel, wait a minute, I'm deep and I'm dark and I want to know deep, dark me because that's somewhere that is very real and very true. And I need to get to know my deep, dark places because, again, I know inside myself that that's my power. And you think about it. How do you discover another person if they don't reveal to you some deep, dark and secret places? And that becomes a measure of your intimacy one with another is how safe do you feel to reveal your deep secret places to another human being. So let's come back to Shungite and Amon Shungin and your soul energy, your soul knowing, your deep instinctive knowing that within you is treasure, but it's hidden. It's really dark in there. How am I going to find it? I need a torch. I need the light of Shungite to shine in the dark. I need to have the confidence to relate to these powerful beings, the spirit, the soul of Shungite. I need to get to know that power. I need to have it inside me. I need to resonate it. And that you do, of course, by holding Shungite, by, by dreaming with it, by going in and listening Hearing Amon Shungin, hearing the shamans of Shungai talk to you about Shungai and lead you in safely. Like my beloved assistant, Jerome Zoran, he is a shaman of Shungai. He works with it all the time and he indeed leads you with such a beautiful brother love into the depths where you experience being lost, having parts of yourself you, you just can't get in touch with, having feelings you can't identify, being in the dark. But yet there's so much in there and you need that darkness, you need the power of what is within you, what isn't visible to everybody, what is special what is hidden for a reason because it's sacred to you and how deep down inside you you have a lot of knowledge a lot of wisdom a lot of love a lot of compassion because beloved human beings are kind by nature not cruel they are kind but so many of your beautiful race have lost their courage to be kind. And around you, you see realities that are cruel and you think, am I like that? Did I, do I do things like that? But you have to understand, no. No, the beings who have perpetuated the abuse and taught human beings to be blind, ignorant, and abusive. They are not actually human beings, beloved. And they also have no connection with divine beings. So you have to come back into confidence with you. And that's what Shungite is a lot about. It's about your power. It's about confidence. They're so black like coal, but they shine with an incredible light. And... You become so, so enamored of your Shungai because it's, it's such a friend to your soul and it helps you go deep. So it really is a light in the dark. And so allow yourself to experiment. Get some Shungai. Jerome can bring you Shungai and there are many people in the world who can also bring you Shungai. But make sure that you also have elite Shungai, the one that shines, because that is the one that brings you so much light and that you can feel it is light. It's actually a light crystal to hold. In fact, you think, goodness me, oh, I would have expected that to have been heavier. And so feel the power when you get your Shungai. Go deep with it. 
and allow yourself to be revealed to yourself in the deep, dark places. Don't be afraid of the dark. Don't be afraid of what's inside you. It's inside you for a reason. What is within you is your teacher. Your experience is your teacher. Everything that you have experienced comes forward in this lifetime to be revealed. This is a lifetime of revelation for all humanity. And some of what you're going to see, well, you're going to understand why you need the power of Shungai to hold you strong, to hold you in the deep, dark places, to hold you through your fear, and to give you strength and light to light up your heart with compassion and love, peace, harmony, and to come back to friendship with what inside you is hard to access, to come into complete ownership of the wholeness of your being, dark and light, invisible and visible, unknown and known, and to remember that you are the living spirit within and that you are surrounded by beings who love you, and that you can invoke them and call them in, and you can live a life where you are supported by spirit beings, supported by Amon Shungin, and Amon Shungin are the soul of Shungite, the beings who come in through the Shungite and help you in your life, and that you are indeed divine beings incarnate here upon the earth and you have come to create a new earth blessings and peace blessings and peace well I wasn't certainly expecting a huge big loving wave of appraisal from Chung Fu but yes I can definitely tell you that the last seven years that I've been working with Shungai has had such an incredible effect on my life and that yeah I can't really tell you enough um, that it can really help you in some very deep places too you know it does require discipline and you do have to keep going working with the crystal chakra set and uh, and what I call a mono set of elite shungai they they all work together in in a beautiful harmony so the sh the crystal chakra set you know the crystals for each chakra will boost the seven elite shungites the shungai set and the shungai set will boost the chakra crystals so if you haven't already experienced that and you want to experience that and you are very tuned in to working with crystals then go for it absolutely go for it and i do this pretty much every morning and every night and as a result i'm really able to maintain my energy field um yeah i do I do really benefit from the Shungai greatly. That was what I was going to add. You, you know, they boost each other, but together they boost the chakras. Yes. And they boost your power. They, 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 they magnify your light body, basically. That's what's going on. They're boosting each other, but you are receiving the energy boost inside your body because you have a crystalline vibration there that, that resonates. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. As, as Chung Fu was saying, each crystal, the different crystals that, you know, work alongside each different chakra, they have their own special, unique powers. And so what happens is when you work with seven elite Shungites, you know, and they do need to be nice chunks, nice chunks of Shungite, and it really does empower you in many, many ways. So I myself, one of the latest ways I'm working with it is I have an incredible um, six star grid. So they're just six nice big chunks of elite Shungite around in a star grid. And I place my written intentions inside, goals and visions, dreams, aspirations, alongside other crystals. So you will see that there are videos on crystals from Chung Fu. 
on the Chung Fu channel. And one of the beautiful crystals Chung Fu talks about is the Libyan gold. So Libyan gold and, and the Li Shungai, who work very well together. The Libyan gold representing the golden ray of the divine feminine. This beautiful oversoul being Aranata, she comes forward and in communion with the elite Shungai, they work very well together. Uh, this strong masculine, divine masculine energy in the, in the elite Shungai, but also Amon Shungina. And Amon Shungina, she has come forward to represent what we call the dark mother of the Shungai. So, because the, there's so much to dissolve within the earth. There's so much pollution. There's so much pain. Humanity, the ancestors, there's so much to move within the earth at this time. That's why the Shungai beings have come forward to assist humanity, to, to carry the weight. To they are, they are transformers. They are alchemical crystals. They, they can... Uh, transmute energy. They are extraordinary in that way. And that is why our soldier Rome has been making, you know, grids of, of Shungai, taking it out to different places. And all over the world, there are people conscious of creating a worldwide Shungai grid that can hold the earth and humanity through this challenging time. So that's right. Yeah, I mean, I'm going to be going into this into deeper detail on our joint course that Chong Fu and I are making alongside Amon Shungina and Amon Shungina. If you want to get really proactive, you can actually get little grade two tumble stones and you can get out there and get onto the land and you can really very easily strongly empower the the earth grid it's called grid work it's in the happening you know worldwide. yeah it's happening worldwide there's a lot of people getting involved the with that. ways of magic are more powerful anyway because. yeah that's right so you take your spirit drum or a gong and you get out on the land you bury your shungite you spend five minutes and you call in the beings that's but right. yes, and you link it so, with all the other Shungai all over the world. Exactly. Mm. And you do that in your mind's eye, you just and you speak it, and that's where Chung Fu's commanding principle comes back, you know, come and so you just call in the uh, the angels, the archangels, come and be with me. We're gonna boost this grid, we're gonna we're gonna take back the you know, the magical rights of the earth that's it. Uh, from within me. Um, to outside of me and we're just gonna we're gonna take it up a notch oh. so yeah work with shungite and in whatever way you can um and if you're not fond of having things on your body you can have a, a shungite pyramid by your bed um you can you could or just wear an elite shungite pendant you can even get earrings these days so just check it out and um and just keep it up keep going every day use it and yeah so thanks for coming to the chong fu channel today and do come back tomorrow for we will keep bringing you the goods and do like this video do comment on this video you know if, if every single one of you liked and commented every time we would really get somewhere very quickly because that's how the algorithm works with youtube we do need you to comment on it to like the video and to and to share it so that's awesome we love you so much and we will see you tomorrow blessings and peace great love and blessings blessings and peace dear ones